Today we're going to take a look at the Gustafson RV LED sidewall light with button. This has a satin nickel finish. This is going to be a great addition to your RV to give a little extra class to the inside of your motorhome. So it just mounts on a sidewall and it provides you with a nice light. Now there are shades available for this. They are sold separately here at eachother.com. Show you how you would get that in place. You just unscrew the bulb covering over our LEDs. And the nice thing about the way this is set up, since this is an LED light, we don't have any incandescent bulbs to change out. We just have our six LED diodes there, or LEDs, uh, light emitted diodes, that are going to provide our light. So these are going to last for a really long time, and they're also going to be much more energy efficient than your traditional incandescent bulb. You'll also notice that we have these two sort of rubbery washers. They act as sort of a gasket in between your... Um, bulb shade and the lamp shade. So I'll just give you an idea of what that would look like. Again, this shade is not included with this light. This is sold separately, but you can find it here at eTrailer.com using part number 277-000476. And then to reinstall it, just kind of have to grab it from underneath, put our other washer back on. Slide that over the diodes on the inside thusly, and then also thread this back on as well. And that will hold the shade in place. We do have a couple different options for shades. Um, this is just one of the options that we have. I just wanted to give you an idea of what that looks like with the shade in place. We also have our two wires at the back to make our power and ground connection. You'll also notice this little blue uh, wire nut here that's to connect the light to the switch or the, to the button. So we'll connect our ground and we'll connect our power. Then we can turn that on. As you can see, that lights up. It's going to look really nice. We'll turn out the light in our studio here so you can get a better idea of what that looks like in the dimmer condition. Again, provides a nice illuminated light there. And again, this is just one of the shades available. Got a lot of different options here at eachother.com for the different things. So you could use it just without the shade if you really wanted to. The uh, bulb covering over those diodes is opaque enough that I think it would probably work just fine, but it would just be sort of a bare bulb. Up to you though. So we'll remove that, take off the shade, and I'll show you what that looks like again without the shade now. So just as the light comes on its own. The housing is going to be made of a durable steel, again, with that satin finish. So this just gives it a nice classy look. And we have that circular button to turn it on and off. So you want to make sure that you mount this somewhere that you can reach that button. You don't want to put it too high on the wall to where you can't get to it. Turn our power back on and on the light as well. As you can see, it, it really doesn't look too bad on its own, um, just as it is. Flip the lights out again. And there's our light again. You can see, it gives a pretty good amount of light. As far as the dimensions, of course, using it with a shade is going to change those dimensions, but just on its own, we'll measure it here. The base itself, or the mounting plate, <clears throat> that's going to measure five inches in diameter. So from edge to edge there, it's about five inches. It's a little hard to get my hand on here since it's so round. There we go, about five inches there. And then as far as the height itself, the light is going to be, or the distance that it would come out from the wall, it's going to be about three and a half inches. 
So to the center of where that light would be. Uh, from the base, it's about two inches. So going from the center of that mounting point to the, um, the light itself, it's just about two inches. So that's how far out it, the shade will sit from the base. And then the overall height, just from the edge of the base to the top of that bulb, is going to be about seven inches. That gives you an idea about how much space this is going to take up on its own. Again, if you get a shade, it will be a little bit further out and a bit taller. The two holes are going to be used to mount this up to the wall. The hardware is not included with this, so you will have to provide that on your own. And you always want to be sure to check behind wherever you choose to mount this to make sure that you're not hitting any other wires or anything important. This light is also UL listed. And that's going to do it for our look at the Gustafson RV LED sidewall light with button.